लास्ट वीक इन द वीकली एनालिसिस आई टोल्ड यू दैट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ थर्ड रेड कैंडल एज टू आर ऑलरेडी डन विद अ डिमिनिशिंग बॉडी साइज वी कैन सर्टेनली एक्सपेक्ट अ थर्ड रेड कैंडल विद अ फर्दर स्मॉलर बॉडी साइज प्रिसाइजली इट हैज अचीव दीज लेवल्स प्रिसाइजली इट हैज ड्रॉड बिलो 11,000 levels and look 10,970 that was the level I had told you that it may give it a stronger support and below 11,000 1200 certainly you may see it at those levels. Nasdaq 100 achieved all the targets now what can be expected for this week and also this is going to be a new month the month of October new quarter to begin new contracts to starts. Let's see what can be expected whether we are looking forward to a bounce back has it seen the bottom we'll try to find the answers to these queries do missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits do not commit this mistake do like share subscribe and comment i share my daily update on nasdaq 100 twice a day one with the asia session next with the us cash session if you miss those analysis definitely you are missing those the profits so do press the bell icon and stay tuned with the latest update now let's start first with the daily charts first you look into charts follow the indicators towards the end i will give you the strategy and levels for next week now see on the daily charts you can find higher highs two green candles and then we have seen two red candles also the look at the size of the candles precisely the lows are well connected the highs are well connected to the pivot here at 11300 levels and see next week if you see a trading below 10950 Yes, if you see trading below ten nine fifty, certainly that is the time when I will ask you to remain short. Remember, two red candles. It means a third red candle can be expected. I will only say expected, not confirmed, but a third red candle can be expected. A smaller body size. Yes, you can expect a further smaller body size. Then it may try to achieve. See the previous candle size. You can see eleven two hundred to eleven thousand levels, two hundred points. and this time it can give you almost 100 points so 10 900 850 levels certainly we a be a good support for the first trading session we may see it dropping a little it can show you a high how high it can go be careful of 11 100 levels and then achieving those levels certainly 11 100 150 we can again expect it to give you a good swing till towards 10 900 certainly it can open possibility exists that it can open with a gap down and drop and move till towards 10 Nine hundred ten at fifty levels before it looks over to a bounce back. Now, see these levels are very important. Ten nine fifty eight fifty levels are very important for Nasdaq hundred for it to sustain a bullish or bearish momentum. On the upside, eleven five hundred certainly is going to be the resistance. Now look at the four hour charts. On the four hour charts, see it was trading in this zone. Suddenly it has changed the momentum on the downside. Also look at this. Yes, the lows are well connected, and hence, if you see it trading below ten nine fifty, certainly it is going to give you round or or series of red candles because it has changed the momentum here. We may see it red candles which might take it further down, which may take it ah uh, further down such so that the recovery on the upside or making the candle green on the upside becomes difficult for the rest of the week. So be cautious. Yes, you can sell there at ten nine fifty and expect. Yes, for sure, this is not the bottom. This is not the done. We are not yet done with the drop there on Nasdaq 100. It is still far more levels to go. Last week, I told you in that in next few months we might see 9600, 9000 levels. If you recall that analysis, I will touch base again today in this analysis. Why did I say so, and whether we can expect or not? But for sure, certainly this time, if you see it dropping below, certainly you can expect little more bearishness. At the same time, on the upside, buy at eleven thousand one hundred, and then expect it to rise. This is also confirmed. We have seen the four-hour daily charts. Now come back to the weekly charts. On the weekly candle, you can find this is the third successive red candle, flat open there, flat bottom there, and yes. it may give you definitely a gap down can be expected where it can try to retrace a little how far it can go on the weekly charts there is a possibility that it can continue the drop see first thing is where is the support here yes, 10850800 levels should be a good support recall this is definitely 11000 levels certainly a very very strong support and this is my predicted levels which i predicted months back that first we will see this level it has already seen this level earlier now it has in fact breached these levels and certainly it has lot much on the downside the next destination on the downside is 10500 yes it can achieve these levels before it looks over to a downside look before it looks over to 
reverse on the upside so for the next week the support there at 10950 10900 is strong in fact till 10850 levels it is definitely going to get a stronger support and all possibility exists that it can bounce back from those levels achieve the lower highs there and possibly trade within this zone so lower highs lower lows can be expected at around 11400 to 10800 levels a possible zone can be seen there below 10800 it will certainly call for little more bearishness which might pull it down till towards 12500 no, forget the reversal from those levels now look at the monthly charts let's have a little more discussion because the fresh contracts are about to begin for the monthly expiry certainly you can see one red candle and the second red candle with the flat bottom yes this is also having a wick yes this is also having a wick and this is see this is replica i told you third red candle can second red candle was expected and now i am telling you third red candle can be expected it has certainly breached the 11000 levels see these four candles and certainly it is again at the same levels and this time sustaining this below these levels certainly a third red candle can be expected which might in fact take it below 10000 levels in this month itself and see the previous candle size almost 1200 points this time it can in fact take it further and then it may achieve my targets of 9800 9600 very strong support zone in this month itself so certainly i am sure that this is not yet over the drop is not yet over the bearishness is not at yet over it has still lot much there on the downside to cover a third bearish candle can be expected on the upside you have to be very cautious till towards 11800 levels yes 11500 800 can be seen it can again form a wick out there and drop start dropping from there or else it can achieve these levels and bounce back from those levels that is also very much possible on the upside for the month of october 11800 on the downside 9800 600 can be expected 2000 points of move yes these are markets anything and everything is possible but yes third red candle can be expected be cautious on the upside now we have seen the charts let's have a look with the help of indicators what does the indicators are suggest now see us 100 on the 4 hour charts after this retracement we have seen two red candles certainly it may fall off with a third red candle 10800 cannot be denied and at those levels we'll see what to do certainly the 11200 to 20 levels are going to be a stronger resistance you should watch out and be careful till 11300 beyond that 11400 is the next target so yes 11200 is the level you should watch out for the on the upside Remember, it is trading at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. Probably, the width of the Bollinger Bands might get increased with the next candle, and it may try to take a dip before it tries to bounce back. See, this time it is looking downwards, and if it breaks this zone at ten nine fifty, certainly it will act more bearish. Else, on the upside, above eleven one hundred, you can buy. Then expect eleven two hundred two fifty levels to provide a resistance. Beyond that, it will fly for three hundred and four hundred. The directional movement is bullish on the bearish on the four hour charts. The stock has taken looking downwards, indicating bearishness. The MACD has again crossed over divergent and bearish. You can expect another round of bearish candles here. The RSI is also looking downwards, but this is on the four hour charts. Now let's have a look at the daily charts. On the daily charts, certainly ten eight hundred, the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. it may try to achieve these levels before and if it breaks this certainly you can expect 10550 10500 levels the directional movement on the daily charts is again bearish it is trying to trade parallel in the bearish side the stochastic is again looking downwards probably it may try to enter again on the oversold side the macd is still bearish it is parallel it is still some room for it to increase the bearishness and the rsi is now again on the oversold zone it can try to enter a little deep before it tries to bounce back possibility at just see when it was overbought it traded overbought for a little while and yes till the time all the long positions are closed they were they are not going to reverse it now look at the so it may increase the pain there be careful now look at the weekly charts on the weekly on the weekly charts see the bearishness has getting diminished here and the next candle when it opens it may take it further down it the, it is the width of the bollinger bands is expanding it indicates that is still lot much of bearishness yes 10800 10600 10, 10, 10, 10, cannot be denied sell below 10950 expect 10850 and 10800 to provide a support below that certainly it will call for a stronger bearishness 10650 500 cannot be denied now look at the weekly chart the directional movement anyways is bearish it is divergent 
the stock has taken seen the oversold levels and this is extreme bearishness here yes that is the time when which is we have seen these levels and it tried to bounce back see this is the time when we have seen this level it tried to reverse immediately we have seen these levels here and it tried to reverse again you can see the on the charts there achieving lower lows we have seen a reversal possibility exists this time too that it may try to achieve 10 800 10 850 and try to bounce back from those levels yes and hence you have to be cautious as it is trading extremely oversold or else it may sustain here for a little while before looking forward to bounce back there is another probability of it yes if it can sustain if it can sustain these overbought levels why can't it sustain the oversold levels yes it can and then you have to be cautious the MACD has just crossed over and uh, this is on the bearish side you can see this is divergent and this is bearish this is the first red candle after the crossover and it has all the probability for it to increase the bearishness from here be cautious and alert yes it can be a short lived bearishness what we have seen here but certainly it can it can try to make it more bearish there is a potential for it to drop in the month of october be careful the rsi is again looking downwards indicating little more bearishness now coming back to the monthly charts on the monthly chart certainly trading below 20 months average at 14,000, 15 months, 50 months average now at 10,800 or 11,000 levels. Very strong support there and from the 50 month average that is 4 years average. Now last 4 years the complete rise is gone and possibly from here we may try to see a little more drop. The directional movement is diverging. We can see another round of red candle where it can continue to diverge. When it was trading bullish, nobody asked. When it was trading bullish, nobody asked. Now, when it is trying to trade bearish, you should not be afraid of. It has lot much of downside available. When it rises, when it was rising, there was no point for it to rise. Still, it was rising. The economy was not as much, you know, it has recovered not as much as what we expected. Still, the markets have given extremely lucrative results. Now, it is trying to drop. So, possibly, there is no downside to it it can continue to drop remember this fact the stochastic is oversold and it is trying to bounce back now next month possibly it can try to enter into oversold zone again it traded bullish for months for months and years it traded bullish this is the time for it to sustain the bearishness tech stocks after 2002 2000 levels it has again entered into oversold zone possibly it may sustain bearishness for a little while the MACD look at the monthly MACD it is still divergent and bearish possibly it may try to take it further on the downside before it looks forward to a crossover and hence more bearishness more pain in the system to be expected RSI looking downward see for years it traded overbought for years it traded overbought now this is the time for it to take it into oversold zone be careful for the month of October, yes, this is not yet the bottom. There is still more, lot much on the downside. Now, we have seen the charts and indicators. Time for me to give you the trading levels and strategy for the next week. And also, we'll try to see what can be expected in the month of October. And with the help of levels there, let's have a... And yes, if you want to learn this art, as I am predicting accurately on day-to-day -day basis, we are making profits as markets are respecting the levels well. If you want to learn this art, you can join my mentorship batch and... Uh, this is going to be a 15 batch starting on 3rd of October, 15 live trading sessions and also 90 minutes live sessions with a lifetime support is what you get. Definitely it will help you become a profitable and proficient trader by making you understand where to enter, where to exit and what trades you should take, which trades you should not. Reach out to me for more details else you can become a member of my signals group. Trading as per the signals, definitely you can profit and else just support the effort by becoming a pet. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram channel ID, my telegram personal ID, my email ID are mentioned in the channel and video description. Reach out to me for any of your trading and training queries. So for next week, yes, you can buy here at 11055 and then only we can expect 11120 and then beyond that 11. 200 levels which is certainly a very 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 strong resistance level i don't think that it is going to happen very immediately or from the beginning of week but this is definitely achievable and this is going to be a stronger resistance zone plus minus 10 20 points i am avoiding so be cautious of these levels beyond that certainly 11 to 40 11 300 now the next resistance zone i have always maintained 
11, 300, 400. This is going to be certainly very strong resistance zone. If it surpasses this, then certainly we are looking at 11, 600, 500 and 602 levels. It is talking in rounds. Yes, we have to give the levels in round. 11, 600 is the next destination. Beyond that, we may see 11, 800 and then 12,000. I don't think so. If it reverses and trades about 12,000, certainly that is the level beyond which you can consider that markets have reversed. Nasdaq 100 is going to trade bullish from there. Be cautious. 12,000 is the level for the month of October. You have to be careful of 12,000 only and only if it trades about 12,000. Consider that for a bullish reversal for subsequent months also. Till the time it trades below 12,000, certainly we can remain bearish. 11,800 certainly is the level we should watch out for even if it tries to trade bullish. This is the level which may provide a stronger resistance. So trade as per the levels and on the downside, yes, where to sell, you can sell here at 10,950. Below 10,950, certainly I will be looking forward to 10,910, the support, then 10,860, the support and below that we may see 10,820 levels. Now you have to be careful of these levels first here and here you have to be careful of these levels drop it trading below this certainly 10 700 10 550 is achievable and from here see this zone is going to be the next important zone for us 100 where it may get a little support 10 500 550 and i expect that we may see a very strong support at these levels and it can try to achieve this this week itself and bounce back from those levels can be expected below this the sky is the limit it is going to crash heavily towards 10 200 and towards 9800 and then my monthly target towards 9600 yes it can drop till towards these levels if it continues to trade below 11000 you can expect in the month of october it is going to hit 9800 600 my long term targets remember last week also i reiterated 9800 600 cannot be denied 9000 levels cannot be denied it is achievable still there is lot much bottom for it to achieve but you have to stick as per the levels not as per the bias bias can be everything bias can make me think that it is going to crash like hell and make it make the value to zero it cannot happen this is just my bias don't trade as per my bias i myself don't trade as per my bias and hence just stick to the levels on the upside take a trade close it trade with a trailing stop loss such that in case of a reversal your trade closes in profit so Trade as per the levels. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading week ahead. Thank you.